hello good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching this video from my name is ayotzi and this is eagle striker the home of nigerian footballers with me i have a special guest today a player for the super falcons of nigeria and sl benfica feminino in portugal i have Uchebe christy welcome to the show please introduce yourself oh thank you my name is christy Uchebe. I play for SL Benfica. Yes. Um, so, Christy, how are you doing today? You know, how have you been um, recently? How is pre-season going? I'm good. I'm feeling good. Um, I just um, got back from training and the pre-season is going well. Everything is going fine. Okay. So, I just want to catch up with you very quickly today, you know, to talk about the 2022 of Nations, you know, that you were, of course, a part of. You were one of the players that stood out and came into the limelight, at least in terms of, you know, the Nigerian scene. A lot of people that were not aware of the qualities um, are now aware. So I want to ask, you know, first of all, um, what was it like for you to take part in your first Women's Africa Cup of Nations? Hmm. For me to take part in my first um, platform, I think it's a good one for me and my career also. It's amazing to be part of that wonderful team. Like the team, everyone was great. And I feel good scoring my first goal. Like, I was so happy. My first goal, my first touch, first game, first mm -hmm. Wafcon for the senior team. I think the feeling is like, is that of this world. So I'm really excited. Mm. Okay, so let, let's talk about that goal. You know, that header in the second match against Botswana. You know, yeah. I don't think I've seen you score header before. I mean, I've watched a few, <laughs> of, a few of your games. So is this something that surprised you? Because it was a beautiful header, you know. Was it something that even surprised you? Or was it from practice? Can you tell us about it? Uh, yeah, right from uh, my team here in Benfica. Um, I've been always practicing my corner kicks and other stuff. Well, for me, I'm not surprised because mm. um, I'm doing that in training sections and whenever I train, I put my whole heart to do whatever I'm doing. But that um, when I came in, when it's time for corner kick, you know, they played the first one and it went corner back to the corner kick. And they played the second one. I was just saying, God, have they get me? God, have they get me? <laughs> I was just saying in my mind, first goal, first touch, first touch, first goal, first touch, first goal. And I don't, I don't even know it seriously. I don't even know how I went to that ball and I just put my head and knocked the ball inside the net. And that was my first goal with the head, mm. like since I was playing football in, in my career. career. Wow. Yeah. Even when you were a grassroots player? I know they score with my head. I don't score with <laughs> wow. my head. Wow, see, I yeah. mean, God, God saved it for that special moment, you know, for that big moment. You know, and I mean, yes, it, was, it was a nice one to watch. And you you even almost scored another goal in, in that same game, you know. I think it was yeah. another set piece, the ball dropped for you, and, you know, you took one touch, turned, and shot. Yeah, and it went I was spin the ball. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That would have been incredible. You know, well, you know, from that game, you sealed your spots in the team you know, for the rest of the tournament. You know, how did that make you feel? You know, because nothing is given, you know, you have to earn it. And obviously, you know, after that match, Coach Randy saw something in you that he wanted you to keep on playing. So how did that make you feel that you were able to, you know, win your spots in the team? Oh, well, um, first of all, I just knew this WAFCON is going to be my moment. Even if I'm not going to start... Or I'm going to start, I don't care. But the thing is, I know that will have come, I'm going to play, and that's my moment. And also, from the help of my teammates, I think they also helped me out in like playing. And like the midfield, Okobi, Halima, Rita Chikwelu, they helped me a lot. Like Even in training sections, when we played, they'll be like, Christy, you need to go, you need to go. Even there's one day I was chatting with AB, the captain, and she said, Christy, train well, because your fitness alone are three people alone. Like, <laughs> I was wondering why she was telling me that. And like when we got to the WAFCON and played out the game, I just remember what she said. I, I just might. I just knew it was my moment because I waited so long for this moment to come. So that is it. 
Amazing. Um, okay, so let's now talk about, you know, the tournament. You know, like you said, you had your moments in the game against Botswana and it kept on moving forward. And then unfortunately, you know, um, that game, I know it's not a game that's, that any of us want to remember. You know, the game against Morocco in the, in the semi-final. Oh. Me, I, I, watched, I watched that game on TV, but, you know, you were there live. You know, you experienced it, you played. So can you tell us what was that game like for you? For me, the game against Morocco, I think the game was a nice game, like a strong team, a strong side. Um, they have um, tactical ability. Um, I know, okay, our strength is more than theirs, but they keep the ball and we keep the ball also with the whole fans and everything. <sighs> at first, I was looking, when we were warming up at first, I was looking around, I was like, I can't even find anyone Nigerian flag like here. I know what's <laughs> happening. I mean, the president, no, tell us, tell us, may they come outside, I'll be waiting up. That match was a tough game and an eye opener for everyone. Mm. And we did pretty well, like the determination, the aggressiveness, um, the confidence, like nine against, ten, nine against 11, playing on the pitch. We still struggle to the end, and well, penalty is a game of luck. And we went out of the finals, and we went to the third place. And let me even just quickly um, that game against Morocco, you know, because something that I must say, the, the determination from the team, honestly, to get to that penalty shootout. Because when we got that first red card in 46 minutes, people are already thinking, "Ha, hey God, what's going on today?" Then we now get another red card. 78 minutes, Rashidat, yeah. who was our best player in the tournament. So now it's as if ha, everything has just scattered, you know. And honestly, almost everybody was thinking that, okay, Morocco will probably scores, you know, like, you know, you and you just understand. You know, people were thinking, okay, they will score, you understand now, two red cards. And you guys were actually able to hold on because 70 to 120 is another 50 minutes of playing football, you know, with two players down and you guys were able to hold on. No, I think, honestly, it was an incredible effort. We we're very unlucky, you know, that we we missed that penalty and we lost in the shootouts. But, you know, that's, that's football. I feel like um, my teammates, like, inside the pitch and outside, I think the ones outside, they gave us their grace to play. You know, when you are playing outside and you are wishing everyone inside the pitch well, like, the strength is going to be multiple. And inside the pitch also, Ashley, she was so positive. Everyone was so positive. And I was like, we're not going to lose all this much like this. Even if they give another red card, say, this <laughs> month, we're not going to lose all like this. Anyhow, they go do, we're not going to lose. Like, inside the field, man, all you are the play. Holy Spirit, I call her. <laughs> you get one goal. Like, there's one goal they nearly scored. I was just, I was like, God help us. God help us. At some point, I was so tired. But I just had to push on because we were like nine man down. I just had to go on and let me let me ask you, there was one moment in that game against Morocco where they had yeah. the ball in our box and then you went to slide and then the player played it and it looked as if the ball hit your hand as the ball was going and I could see your face. You put your hand behind the, <laughs> your head. What were you thinking in that moment? <laughs> Ah, what's going to happen at you? But the thing was, before the before the tournament, we had a meeting with the referee. So they said, once your hand is not outside, like it's close to your body, it is not a um, penalty. But because of the two red cards, they already give our teammates. And the way the official team is, like, I don't know. I just feel like maybe she's going to give a penalty. Mm. Because it happened to me and Ohale, Osi, Ohale. And I thought it was going to be a penalty, but I, I don't know what changed her mind. And she was like, clear on, clear on. I just said, thank God, uh, not even for my hand, I didn't score. So. When I was watching, I was like, in my mind, I was like, hey, God, Christina, you will feel high down. See, your face, you never will feel do as if nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> no, the T issue, no, the T issue, the T issue. Well, I mean, thankfully, they didn't give that penalty. Okay, now, the third place match you know, against Zambia. That's another game, another disappointing result. You know, you played in that game, but, you know, 
you had to go out with an injury in the first half. How did that feel, you know, having to leave the game early and, you know, watching and not being able to help from the sidelines? I was disappointed. I don't know why. I I was not feeling okay. I was just I was crying. Mm. I don't even know the way they do me safe. I don't even know like how to express it. I was like, Christy, you can go and the leg for me to play and strain it more and more. I just had to go out. Mm. I know I was not okay. Mm. I can imagine. I mean, that's one of those games that nobody wants to have to leave. And then yeah. you know, we now lost that match. You know, after the game, you know, what was the mood like? You know, from the players in the locker room. How how was the feeling like? Everyone was like, some people are crying. Some people were feeling bad. You know, see, some people they know they they, they cry inside, the but you know they come outside. I mean, I cry outside. Um, everyone was, we were disappointed, like, we did well, but not getting the results we wanted, even we lost to go to the final, and the third place. Well, the thing I liked about the team is, we didn't underrate Zambia, we went out, we played with our hearts, but it's football for you, it's a game of win, game of lose, game of draw. I feel that they maybe was a black before so mm. yeah okay okay i mean but the one positive that we got out of this tournament is that the team qualified for the 2023 fifa women's world cup in australia and new zealand you know um how, how did it feel you know to seal that qualification and to know that you know you potentially will be going to your first world cup how does that feel <sighs> Also, I was so happy being with the team, like qualifying the team to the World Cup. I was so happy. Yeah, I was happy. Yeah, and I mean, personally, I'm also very excited. I'm looking forward to it. I've been saying it in my life. I've never thought of going to Australia or to New Zealand. But now that the Super Falcons are, are going there for the World Cup, I'm going to, to try my best to make sure that I'm, I'm also there for the tournament as well. Um, Okay, so just very quickly, looking forward to this season, you know, we've spoken about the WAFCON. You're back with your team now for preseason. I know you played one preseason friendly already, you know, and won against Real Betis. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you're playing this season in the Champions League. You know, you're playing in the league again after winning back-to-back -back titles. What are your goals and your expectations for this coming season? Um... My goals for this season is um, I just want to be better than I was last season. I just want to keep working hard and we take every game step by step. That is it. Mm, mm. All right. Yeah. Sweet. Short and sweet. All right. Um, and finally, Nigerian fans that are watching this video, you know, some of them maybe they just got to know you in the WAFCON. Some of them maybe have been following you for a long time. You know, um, what's your message to all your fans, you know, past and present, you know, that are watching this video. I would like to say um, thank you for supporting me and the entire team. And for those that have lost their hope, I just want to say don't lose hope. Believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Nothing is impossible. Like, when you believe, nothing is impossible. If Christo Chibe can do it, you also can do it. So believe and work hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. If Christy Chibi can do it, then you two can do it. I love those words. Thank you. Thank you very much, Christy. Thank you for chatting with me. And I hope you have a great season with your club, Benfica. Maybe even win the Champions League. Who knows? All right. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, so now I remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right.